All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the words of the great Clay Winder, welcome. Also, uh, we are excited to be here. Bob's going to take it away in just a second. Um, but welcome to filming a virtual tour in 10 minutes. This is exciting. I'm excited to be here. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing great. Great. Awesome. Well, I'm just going to turn the time over to you. Go ahead and share your screen whenever you're ready. But uh, I, I, I'm thinking we just go through your presentation, which will probably go about 30 minutes, and then we'll open up to Q&A at the end. Does that sound good? Sounds great. And you can type your questions anytime you have any in the chat window, and I will answer the questions at the end of my presentation. Perfect. Take it away. So I've been in real estate for 25 years. And uh, I, when I first got into real estate, I got a real estate license and an appraiser's license. And for the first couple of years, I did both real estate and appraisal work, and then later specialized in just real estate. But I felt like uh, knowing, being an expert in valuing property was really important to be a good real estate agent and to be successful. And it has been a, a, a very valuable thing to learn. Um, in college, I took a class in photography. And so since college, photography has been a hobby of mine. And of course, uh, now when you have a still camera, you also have a video camera. And so over the years, I've trained myself to be an expert in real estate photography. And, and then a couple of years ago, I started doing uh, video, uh, videography for real estate. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of share with you so, some of the, the way that I have found is a really quick, easy way to shoot a, a nice looking video tour. Um, as far as uh, Keller Williams goes, uh, when I first started in real estate, I started with Coldwell Banker. And then uh, 10 years after being in real estate, I um, decided to make a change. My wife, Kim, is also an agent and we decided we wanted to make a change. So I'm kind of a researcher, kind of a techie. And so I decided to research every major real estate company in North America. And what I was looking for was the company that would do the most to help me get home sold. Uh, I'd been in the business long enough to know that it wasn't about the commission split. There were companies out there that claimed a 100% commission. Um, I knew that didn't matter because 100% of zero is zero. And so I, uh, after an exhaustive amount of research, I way over-researched it. And after having discussions with the Keller Williams regional guy and the local um, team leader, uh, Lee Stern, uh, Kim and I felt like by far Keller Williams had more to offer than any other company. So. About 15 years ago, we joined Keller Williams. And we're still here because we love Keller Williams. They, they are the best real estate company in the industry, period, by far. Uh, and they do more to help Kim and I get home sold than any other company would be able to. So we're, we're very happy here. So let's get into our, our discussion today. I'm gonna share my screen. Got a keynote presentation. Okay, let me start from the beginning. Okay, I assume you can see my screen. So it's how to shoot a video tour in 10 minutes. So the first question is, why is video important? I mean, people are doing photo, photo tours and have been doing photo tours for many years. And I put a lot of effort into my photo tours to try to try to make the home look as good as possible on the internet because you've got to sell it twice, once on the internet, once in person. So uh, still photos are really important. But uh, what about video? Um, if, you've watch, if you've watched TV lately, uh, or I should say, if you binge watch TV lately, um, of course, if you're just watching Netflix, you're not seeing any commercials, but if you're watching re regular TV, there's 
uh, commercials that sell products. Uh, when was the last time you saw a commercial on TV that was a slideshow that just had still photos? So the reason why commercials are video is because video sells. It's a lot more powerful than still photos. And I'm shocked and amazed as I look at listings on the MLS. Kim and I have sold a lot of luxury homes. We just recently sold a home for about a million dollars. And as I was looking at the competition, I was shocked and amazed at how many uh, million dollar plus homes had no video tour, no video tour. And here we are, we're all these agents, we're going around and all of us are carrying, uh, you know, current state of the art cell phones that have fabulous video cameras built in. Uh, so it would be so easy for them to do a pretty nice looking video tour. So what I'm going to do is show you a video tour that I shot of a home that just recently closed. Um, just to show you what you can do with your cell phone. Here we go. Okay, Kim just mentioned that the, the video is not playing. Okay, for some reason, Josh, you got any ideas why that's not playing? Sorry, I was talking to someone for just a second when we walked in. What happened? Yeah, I, I tried to play this video and it's not showing up. on the wrong screen hold on let me switch screens okay oh here it is over here we got two big screens going uh double screen in it yeah and i know there's a switch screen button over here somewhere on the bottom on the bottom just hit stop share and then share the other screen you'll see it pop up Oh, there it is. I got it. Oh, okay. All right, that should do it. There we go. Okay, so a um, couple things. Number one, that video played really choppy um, because obviously we're, we're on Zoom and uh, everybody else in the world is also on Zoom. So uh, when, it's, when it's played from the MLS, uh, it plays really smoothly. So um, let me tell you a little bit about that home. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're good, Bob. Okay. 
So this is the MLS printout. This is, uh, the home was 1,957 square feet, built in 1995, so a little bit older, on a 0.15 acre lot in Draper. So um, pretty small home. Sold for $224 a square foot in a few days. So uh, that was, we set a new record, I think, for price per square foot for Draper. Okay. Um, one thing that I should mention also on the video, I happen to be an FAA licensed drone pilot. So I'm a commercial drone pilot, which was a pain to get. So I do use a drone. Uh, obviously, instead of doing drone photography of the front yard and the backyard, you could easily shoot that as well with your cell phone. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, in the remarks on the MLS, of course, you want to put view, press view tour to see video. So they know to hit the view tour link on the MLS to see your video that you work so hard on. So basically, there's three basic types of video shots. You've got a pan, tilt, slider, dolly, and crane. I pretty much only use the pan and the tilt. That's really the pan shot is your primary shot. Um, a slider is a device you put your camera on so you can really slowly slide your camera from one side to the other. Uh, that's, that's a hassle. We don't want to do that. A dolly, no, we're not going to do that. Or a crane, way too much work to get those done. So what I did was put together a video to show you the basic video techniques in action. So you stand facing forward, you turn to one side, and then to do a pan shot, from left to right or right to left, we're gonna very slowly move the camera, keeping it level. Notice that we also always shoot every piece of the video in a landscape mode. Uh, I don't know if you've looked at your computer screen or your TV screen, every screen that somebody's gonna use is in landscape mode. So really slowly, you pan across to, to get that pan shot. And then this is a crane shot. This is the kind of shot you use if you want to slowly move the camera panning upwards to pull in, say, a really nice vaulted ceiling or you have really big tall windows and you want to accent those, then you'd use a tilt shot where you just slowly tilt your camera up as you shoot video. Um, I also use a gimbal. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about this. This is an Osmo DJI. costs $139. Comes in a little case. And uh, this is just a little video that shows shows you how the gimbal works. No matter how you move your hand around. Say, say what again? The type of gimbal. Okay, I'll, and I'm going to show you a link to the DJI Osmo gimbal. I'll show you a link to that in a second so you'll be able to see that. But as, you, as I move my hand around, the camera stays absolutely steady. It's a motorized powered gimbal. And this is showing another pan shot, panning from one side of the room to the other with the gimbal. And then this is showing you a slider shot where the camera stays pointing forward. And this is a crane shot where you start low and then gradually move the camera up. So that's a crane shot with a gimbal. So that's a really handy tool. If you can afford the $139, it's a great tool to have for shooting videos. So this is uh, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 on Amazon, $139 comes with the carrying case and everything you need to start using the gimbal. Um, and now what I wanted to do is go through the video again, only 
this time what I'm going to do is talk to you about each piece of the video. So instead of doing this shot with the drone, obviously you would do a pan shot with your cell phone across the front of the property. Here's a nice pan shot. Actually, it was a slider. Okay, now I did something a uh, little out of the ordinary here. I came through the front door and then walked into the kitchen. So it, the only downside to doing that is when you're walking, it's hard to walk smoothly. And so you do get some bumping. Even when using a gimbal, it's going to be a little bit bumpy. So I, I don't recommend walking normally, but you certainly can do it. In fact, if you wanted to, you could just walk through the whole house shooting video and just do one take and get the whole house. Um, if you do that, it just doesn't look as professional as, uh, as this video, in my humble opinion. So now I walk into the kitchen. Now I'm doing a pan across the kitchen. Okay, now I'm going back and doing a pan across the living room. I'm gonna pan across the dining room and the kitchen. This shot, I wanted to pull in the mountain view out the kitchen window. So I stood where you would stand at the sink and then did a nice pan across the windows. So as you're starting to get the feeling that most of the shots are pans, and that's true. You just have to make sure that when you do a pan, it's very, very slowly. Slow is good. The slower, the better. And notice that I'm also fading from one shot to the next. Well, so that's something you do when you put the video together in, uh, in your post-processing. Okay, now here's a shot where I did do a tilt shot, where I, I tilted up to accent that vaulted ceiling. And this is just a crane shot using the gimbal. You could do the same thing handheld where I just, uh, I couldn't see the shower, the tub and the sink in one shot. So I had to do a crane shot where I pulled up to use the mirror to pull in the shower and the tub. So this video is one minute and 30 seconds long. And that's, that's all you really need. So here's your, here's my basic video checklist. Of course, this can vary a great deal depending on the home. But basically for a, you know, a basic shoot, this is what you're looking for. You're looking to shoot the highlights of the home. So first thing, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of my, I was thinking of my shoot shot list and this is my video checklist. Sorry. Okay, first thing you do, clean your camera lens. Turn on all the lights in the house. Open the blinds. Shoot straight and level. You always shoot straight and level into each room. You're not shooting down or shooting up. Straight and level. Move the camera very slowly. Shoot in landscape mode only. A gimbal is great if you can afford it. Uh, when you set your uh, phone to shoot 1080p at 30 frames a second, that 30 frames a second is smoother than 24. Uh, so we're looking to have it as smooth as possible. Shoot, so shoot at 30 frames a second, 1080p. We don't need to go 4K on these, not for displaying on the MLS. Uh, you want to film the highlights of the home. And in a second, I'm going to give you the shot list. Uh, then you edit your video, just some basic, easy, quick uh, video editing. Then you upload your video to YouTube. 
uh, then you sh you uh, link the MLS to the YouTube video, and of course upload it to Facebook. So this shows you why you always want to clean the lens on your cell phone before you shoot. Um, the the shot on the left, a lot of people don't notice that their lens is dirty, but that's what you get as compared to the clean lens on the right. So clean your lens. This is your shot list, basic shot list. Of course, you can do anything you want. Front yard, nice pan across the front yard, living room, kitchen, dining area, family room, master bedroom, master bathroom, uh, basement family room, and a nice pan across the backyard. Those are your, your basic shots. You can modify it from there, but uh, that gives you a start. Uh, video editing, if, if you... Um, everybody that has an Apple cell phone has iMovie, and you can edit videos in, using iMovie. Uh, if you have an Android, I, I'm sure they have a, a video editing program that's very similar to, to iMovie. And what you want to do is add some music. It's got to be music that is okay to publish on YouTube, not some popular band that you like. Uh, but iMovie does include music that you can use for YouTube. And then you've got to add the Keller Williams Westfield logo to the end of the video so that it's um, not a blind ad. So if we do publish our brokerage on there and then you can add titles if you want. The video I showed you just had the address at the front and the address at the end. Um, you can't, uh, when, you, when you publish the videos on the MLS, you can publish a branded tour and an unbranded tour. So the unbranded tour would just have the Keller Williams logo. If you wanna make a second branded tour and put your picture, your phone number, uh, then you can do that and publish it as an unbranded tour. So usually I'll make two videos, one version that's unbranded and then a second version that, that is branded. Um, and of course you could do voiceover when you're editing the video, you can do voiceover and talk about some of the features of the home. And that's fine to do also if you, if you want to spend the extra time doing that. So, um, if you want to review this video, uh, you know, in preparation for shooting your video of your home, you can, if you want to make a note of this address, 12529 Stonebridge Circle, then you can do a search on YouTube and pull up that video anytime to give you a little refresh, of course. Um, practice on your own home. You've got the perfect thing to practice on. No matter how big or how small, you can always practice on your own home. Uh, and I'd recommend doing that before you go out and shoot your first video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them now, or you can call me on my mobile phone. There's my number. So that's the end of the presentation, and let's go to the questions. And if you want, you can unmute your microphone and ask questions by voice, too. I'm wondering if everybody knows how to uh, change those settings on the phone to get the right 1080. 1080p. Okay. Um, basically, if you go to settings on your iPhone, I can tell you on the iPhone, I can't tell you on the others, go to settings and then go to uh, camera and that's where your video settings are. A lot of questions.
I'm, tr I'm trying to get back to my screen that shows me if we have any questions in the chat window. Josh, do you see any questions? We don't have any right now. Um, okay. All oftentimes right. Oftentimes, calls like this, not you know, depending on the subject, is depends on how many questions there are. But you did pretty, you did a great job, Bob. I think. I think if anything, I'm going to post this video on Facebook since we've recorded it, um, and then also put it on our YouTube channel, so you can refer back to it at any time. So. Okay. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody. We're going to give you another 10 more seconds to ask a question if you have one. Oh, well, there's my chat window. Okay. All right. Lots of thank yous, Bob. Lots of thank yous on chat. So awesome. Well, we're going to call it. Thanks guys for joining on and have a great day. Thank you. Have thanks, fun. Bob. Bye. Yeah.